are constant. Yolo. This portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, a shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern, some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Okay. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the Sky Shard. Kind of some kind of resurrection to learn. We are to return. First, you must activate the anchor. I can sense the dark energy emanating from two devices on either side of me. Activate both devices. I will begin the ritual that will pry open the jaws of oblivion and allow us to escape. There is no way to know for sure. In fact, it's extremely unlikely we will both arrive at the same location. Fear not. I will find you again when the time is right. Now go. Alright. That one. Great Akadosh, dragon the god of time, your children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Hear my voice, Akadosh. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Moloch Baal be denied. Hurry! We must go now! So, off we go. Back. Back to five. Vestige awakens once again. Come here. We must speak. You're looking much better than last night. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again. We must set you on your path. The voids between worlds was both chaotic and violent. It deposited us in Tamriel, but some distance apart, and quite unceremoniously upon our heads. I lost consciousness myself for a time. For the time being, your journey must continue without me. Venture outside, explore this new place, and learn what you can. Expose the agents of Molog Bar, wherever you find. Their means are perfidious, and their scheming ever present. I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Remember, the agents of Molog Bob are everywhere. I must confess, this place is unknown to me. You appear to have arrived. Explore this place. Speak to the locals. I sense that the cat men of elsewhere are present. So you may be in their territory. When I have found the safe haven, I will contact you again. Until then, be safe.
any pain? Unless you're in serious pain, I can't help you right now. I have too many patients to attend. Can you heal my wounds? Better yet, heal the others. If they stop moaning and groaning, I can finally get some rest. You there, wet one. This one needs to speak to you. We need your face to become familiar, so your presence won't be questioned. Come, stay by my side. This one saw you fall from thin air. Pop, drop, splash. Roz would have tried for a backflip, but under the circumstances, this one is most impressed. There are many Dominion soldiers here, rattled by the shipwreck. They may think you are a spy. That could end... Uh, badly. Raz knows you are not a spy. He does not want your impressive arrival to go unrewarded. First, a question. Where did you come from? If you landed five paces north, you'd have squashed a rat, slipped on its guts, and cracked your head on the signal drum. The whole island would have known of your arrival. So where did you come from, truly? A Daedric prince, you say? Raz has a nose for lies, but you seem clean as an ocean breeze. Hmm. If anyone else asks you, where will you say you came from? Yes, lie with confidence. A straight face and a gleam in your eye. Well done. You should not. You should trust your instincts. Live if you wish. No one will stop you. Or, come with Raz and do what you can to help us recover. In the process, grow your stature and wealth. It is entirely up to you. Because you are no soldier, which is useful. You can speak with the locals, assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come, let us try to fit in. This is taking long. In Zion. Commander Karen, a moment? This recruit survived the shipwreck without injuries. You mentioned something about the Shattered Shoals, yes? Glad you're up and about, recruit. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. Most of our fleet foundered to the west, but we've had a few survivors trickle in from that direction. We captured a sea viper spying on the camp. Those pirates never travel alone. Find out if they're around Shattered Shoals, and if so, what they're doing on this island. Of course, you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find. We must each do our part. Before you head to Shattered Shoals, speak with Eelsil. He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. That wizard claims to know something about everything, so he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Il seal is this way. I must finish this. I'm pretty sure I'm applying the patch right now. I must finish this. Apparently we can't. isn't it? We'll have to construct a special room for the Morning Stone when we bring it back to the Mage's Guild. I'm sorry, did you need something? Yes. The Temple of the Morning Springs is an old Khajiit ruin not far from here. We excavated the Morning Stone from one of the chambers. Really? You were shooting in a cat? Its supply yeah. of water appears endless. Why? If I could. 
Oh, not, not everything is killable. In an ancient Khajiit temple? Okay. Preposterous. All we saw were the undead uh, warriors that people. overran our camp. <laughs> I have no idea. Actually, I have 12 ideas, but they're far less fascinating than the morning stuff. Probably some sort of ancient curse. It usually is with these things. Arrogant sea elf pirates. To my recollection, they aren't known to raid Kanathi's roost. Oh, and they have a thing for snakes. But I'm sure we both have more important matters to attend. Uh, if you'd excuse me. We should speak private. Before you depart, let's meet by the statues north of Hello there. There, okay, and... see? Right. You fit in and no one will stop you from walking away. But as this one said, there are opportunities here for people that fall from the sky. Il Karanet told you how the hurricane dashed the fleet into Canarty's roost. Now the sea vipers are picking at the bones of our ships. Strange, yes? You could scout the coast, as the commander said. Prove yourself to the soldiers. Oh, there's far less glamorous work to be done in Mistral, at the northern end of the island. Let's meet up there, after you've done what you decide to do. A bright moon's guide your steps.